Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you very much for attending this, both uh, here in the auditorium as well as uh, virtually. Uh, I'm going to do a, just a quick brief introduction for uh, President Mindrup. I want to thank first, first of all, I want to thank the cabinet members who are here, VP Edwards, Smith, and uh, Thompson, as well as our Associate Vice President, Alicia uh, Looney, our General Counsel, Tori Smith, uh, and Athena Brooks, and Brenda McConnell as well. I'd also like to thank uh, our trustees for coming, uh, both uh, Trustee Radish and Trustee Dillard. Um, and I'd also like to thank Mayor Inman, who I believe is also in the crowd. And uh, Mike and I have been to multiple events on uh, <laughs> every day for the last week, I think, uh, together. So it's that time of year. Uh, so briefly, prior to uh, the presidency at Western, Dr. Christy Mindrup served as the vice president for the Quad, City, for Quad Cities operations. She has no less than 27 years ex of experience at Western, ranging from organizational leadership and strategic planning to student services programming, partnership development, and campus operations, including the development of the Riverfront Campus in Moline. Dr. Mindrup serves on the board of directors at Renew, Renew Moline and the United Way Education Council. She previously served for nine years on the Council for Advancement of Standards in Higher Education and served as president of the Illinois Association for Institutional Research. Dr. Mindrup has taught in the college student personnel program at Western and has served, served as an adjunct instructor with Eastern Iowa Community College uh, District as well. Dr. Mindrup earned her PhD from the University of Iowa, a master's degree from Western, and has two bachelor's degrees from the University of Northern Iowa. She's a graduate of Moline High School and along with her family is a lifelong resident of the Quad Cities in the Western Illinois region. So without further ado, I bring you uh, Dr. Mindrup. Thank you, Interim Provost Mossman. To the entire Western Illinois University community, good morning and thank you for taking time out of your day to join together this morning. Ten days into my role as interim president, I wanted to take this opportunity to connect with all of you as soon as possible to share a little about myself, my background, and to outline university priorities and opportunities, and to share with you a vision for the next several years at Western Illinois University. I have been part of Western Illinois University community for 27 years, and Western has been woven into the fabric of my family for a lifetime. For much of my early childhood, I was raised by my mom along with my grandparents. My grandparents loved Western Illinois University. My Aunt Chris attended WIU in the late 60s and early 70s and graduated with her teaching degree in 1972. While she was an undergraduate, whether she liked it or not, my grandparents loved to visit this campus, enjoy lunch in Corbin Dining Hall, and watch leatherneck football and basketball games. My grandfather always told me, and he's right, there's nothing in the world better than a university campus. My grandpa emphasized the importance of a university education throughout my life. He attended college, but because he entered the military, it wasn't a priority during those times to finish. He always wished he had returned to school and graduated. He instilled in me the value of an education and the college experience. He brought me to visit the Macomb campus several times. I attended youth camp, camp and music camp. Once when he was mayor of Coal Valley, a smaller town just outside Moline, former WIU president Ralph Wagner invited my grandpa along with mayors throughout the state to attend a luncheon in the University Union Grand Ballroom. I was about 13 years old at the time and my grandpa and President Wagner made a strong case for why I should attend WIU after high school. Although an act of young rebellion found me graduating from a different university with purple and gold colors, it did not take long for the path to lead me back to WIU. I graduated with a degree in social studies second educa secondary education during a time, if you can imagine, that there was a teacher surplus this left me searching for other options in the employment ads of the Quad City Times newspaper. My grandpa nudged me toward a job ad for a Clerk 3 position with Western Illinois University's Regional Center at 60th Street in Moline. I remember taking a civil service test, receiving a postcard, and interviewing for a job. 
I was hired, and my responsibilities included answering the phones, setting up TV carts in classrooms, and answering student and faculty questions during evening and weekend hours. I believe I also once responded to a plumbing problem in the basement. Throughout my professional and academic career, I've been part of a WIU environment that values education with dedicated faculty and staff who exhibited character and passion for the work they do to serve students and our region. As a young professional and as a graduate student at WIU, I was fortunate to encounter many mentors and one professor in particular who simply asked me, have you ever considered pursuing your doctorate? The answer was initially no, but then suddenly yes. A door opened that I never considered and then a new path revealed itself. I felt a drive to continue the education that my grandpa wished he had finished. My roles over the years have crossed classifications from civil service to the Council for Adva Administrative Personnel, and I have experience in academic affairs through roles that included support for instruction and learning, as well as time as an adjunct instructor for the College Student Personnel Program. I have crawled around ceilings and cabinets to route cable for video conference classrooms in both the old Quad Cities 60th Street Building and Horobin Hall and I have provided leadership for the design, construction, planning, and operation of the Quad Cities relocation to the Riverfront campus. I have collaborated and coordinated with nearly every area of the university in roles to ensure that the Quad Cities and Macomb campuses were connected and collaborating on everything from daily operations to strategic planning. At every step of my career, I have been motivated to support the academic and social development of students and to support teaching and learning in and out of the classroom with a team of dedicated faculty and staff who share the same passion. Today I'm standing before you as your new interim president, a role that I never intentionally pursued or for that matter considered something I would be asked or invited to do. Though as I reflect on my WIU experiences, I believe my trajectory illustrates the type of transformation that happens at WIU, whether you are a student, faculty, or staff member. My grandparents believed there was something special about this place, and they were right. Whether you're in Macomb or Moline, Western Illinois University is a place that nurtures each individual and inspires people to imagine what is possible. Both through my upbringing and my own experiences as a professional and as a WIU graduate student, Western Illinois University is wired into my DNA. And over the course of 27 years, a span of time shared with so many in this room, I have chosen to stay at WIU through good times and challenging times. Despite temptation from other offers and opportunities, this is the place I have chosen for my career. For any of us who've been affiliated with WIU as faculty and staff over the years, we observed and experienced major shifts in the landscape of higher education that affect colleges and universities across the nation. In the past years, combined with a demographic change, the value of a university degree has been scrutinized and financial support for public higher education resulted in major negative impacts on many state universities during the 2016-2017 State of Illinois budget impasse. Pandemic era resources brought mixed results with temporary financial relief and the ability to invest in student initiatives and equipment for remote course delivery, but also resulted in negative impacts on student learning and changed the way students and the industry viewed and accessed higher education. Over the years, WIU has successfully patched together strategies to ad address financial bruises inflicted by the budget impasse. Our university has enjoyed wins along the way that created a positive momentum shift, yet we know there's still important work to do. During the past few years, presidential priorities have centered on recruitment, retention, and revenue. These continue to be relevant today but now is the time to reshape and deepen those priorities in ways that inspire direct action. Our Board of Trustees asks us for action. 
Our students have asked us for action. In fact, the entire WIU community would like to see action and results to put challenges behind us and place opportunity front and center. Toward that collective desire, I would like to call this university community to center our focus on the following priorities intended to create positive, impactful growth and to promote our ability to succeed and evolve into a new era. Priority number one, promote a thriving and inclusive environment. The foundation of all we do is our ability to thrive as individuals and as members of a larger community. First and foremost, we must, must promote an inclusive, diverse campus environment that promotes kindness and collegiality, one that embraces each individual's authentic self and unique contributions, creativity, and backgrounds, our experiences, and events that have shaped us as human beings. Let's also embrace a positive mindset. Engage in thinking, action, and collaborations founded on the, on the knowledge that Western Illinois University is an excellent institution with excellent people who will share a bright future. Look forward, stay focused and positive, and that's where the path will lead. Priority number two, financial stability with a future focus. We must strategize and innovate toward the goal of fiscal recovery sustainability, and strength. We have learned from the past. The entire university community must simultaneously share the responsibility of addressing financial efficiencies while also strategically positioning and shaping Western Illinois University for growth and meaningful impact in our region and beyond. In this very new role as interim president, I have jumped feet first into this position to discover challenges and opportunities associated with university finances. I have already been in touch with state leaders and other institutions to gain insight on the past, present, and future of state university funding and resources. The road to financial stability is multidimensional and invites us to diversify our portfolio of sources of funds. Here are a few initial strategies our institution must consider. First, to address the deficit. As a university community, we are called to recognize that the university is, in fact, in a budget deficit. This requires attention by everyone at every level and a culture change. For this period of time, in order to find ourselves on the other side of financial challenge, starting now, if you have not already, everyone must recognize that every opportunity to save and not spend puts the university in better financial position with a path to the other side of a budget deficit. In this moment, especially as we move toward the end of this fiscal year, we do not have the luxury of past habits of spend it or lose it. The new mindset should be save it and keep it. On a broader scale, we need to look at how we do business, the way we make financial decisions, and what financial structures and approaches will best position the university to evolve into financial health. Another strategy to address our finances is to make big, bold asks. Western Illinois University needs to specifically ask for and advocate for resources it needs to succeed, thrive, and innovate. Faculty and staff at every level should feel empowered to work together to make big asks that will make a positive impact on the financial bottom line. This past week, your university leadership spent two days in Springfield advocating for adequate budget that builds on the projected 2% appropriation increase and requested $20.5 million in additional funds for justice, inclusion, diversity, and equity initiatives, additional student financial aid, expanded new program and faculty support, Quad Cities operating funds for workforce development and student recruitment, salary enhancement support, and enrollment retention and student success initiatives. Another way to address financial stability is through student retention. Increased attention to the, re increased attention to the retention 
of the students we attract to Western Illinois University is both the right thing to do and has positive financial implications. Recently, Western was awarded $2.2 million grant that will improve college readiness and access through cross-agency coordination with rural local education agencies and the implementation of evidence-based and culturally relevant pedagogies and programming, freshman transition, academic and career advising, persistence initiatives, and support of workforce development. This initiative was a successful big ask and also one that builds in growth opportunity through retention. Let's do more of this. Priority number three, aligning resources with growth opportunity. Now is the time to listen and collaborate with our faculty and staff experts while assessing the higher education landscape to respond to what our region and the world needs from higher education. Our university community has presented ideas and concepts that identify known growth areas. Western's early admission high school dual enrollment initiatives, expanding into new markets such as adult, traditionally underrepresented, and online learners, and expanding our reach through globally accessible programs. WIU must organize itself and align resources in ways that operationalize our commitment to each of these initiatives. Priority number four, focus on innovative academic programming and student development initiatives. We must also listen to our communities, our state, and our students. They are asking us to to deliver innovative programs and student development services that respond to student interests and industry demand, contribute to workforce and economic development, and align with, the, the, with State of Illinois priorities outlined in a thriving Illinois. Western Illinois University is well positioned through its academic programs and services to address teacher shortages, improve mental health, provide services and partnerships that enhance health and wellness of the region, and provide a well-rounded education that values the liberal arts while integrating career pathways that both inspire student aspirations and contribute to a higher quality of life for our students and for our region. We have great examples of this work already happening at WIU. I will highlight just a few examples. WIU has and will continue to focus on workforce and economic development opportunities. Higher education not only benefits students, but also deeply impacts communities through both our program partnerships and our educated graduates. Through the Illinois Institute of Rural Affairs, WIU has partnered with the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity in the Illinois Grocery Initiative to bring new grocery stores to communities lacking fresh, nutritious options. While we are meeting needs statewide, we are also a regional university. Western speech pathology and audiology department is filling a local workforce shortage by being the de facto provider of these important speech and language services to communities and school districts across our Western region. Without WIU, these services would not be available. Through this program, we are also available to provide early intervention autism services that cut years off wait time and keep parents close to home. The Initiatives and Accessibility Committee with student, faculty, and staff membership promotes and champions accessibility, equity, and inclusion for all members of the WIU community. This past year, members of the committee established two sensory rooms, one on the Macomb campus and one on the Quad Cities campus, as a space to embrace and empower the neurodivergent experience and to provide resources for students who experience autism, post-traumatic stress disorder, ADHD, and related conditions. The room provides low sensory, safe environment for those who may experience anxiety, hyperstimulation, panic, or other discomfort. In this space, users will have access to adaptive technology and occupational therapy tools, as well as a wealth of resources and information on 
these conditions and strategies to manage them effectively. Western is also reaching communities across Illinois through our Master of Arts in Teaching program. The program helps local school districts address the teacher shortage by placing an individual in a classroom who is serving as a teacher and a student simultaneously. The support WIU provides to these teachers in training meets a direct state need as laid out in the Illinois Board of Higher Education a Thrive, Thriving Illinois Plan. The Master of Arts in Teaching program has grown from 30 to nearly 400 students. Western was originally founded as a state normal college and remains true to that ideal through traditional and non-traditional paths for teacher education. Western is also addressing the need for more early childhood learning opportunities through the establishment of a new bilingual early learning education center in the Floresiente neighborhood of Moline. The center, located in an area with high demand for childcare, will serve up to 75 children ages birth to five, providing programming for families and creating experiential learning opportunities for our own WIU students. The center will be led by faculty and will be based on research and good practices in early childhood education. WIU established a partnership with Corn Belt Ports, a federally recognized organization that brings river commerce to the Quad Cities region and enhances the supply chain while also promoting healthy river habitat and water quality. This interdisciplinary partnership between environmental science, supply chain management, and the Illinois Institute for Rural Affairs demonstrates Western's commitment to regional commerce and to environmental sustainability and even more powerful is the opportunity that this proximity brings to WIU for research, grants, and other support on, regional and, on the regional and federal level. We celebrate the Center for Performing Arts as the biggest construction project to occur on the Macomb campus in several decades. When complete, the Center for Performing Arts will provide innovative learning and performance spaces for students and faculty and will provide a hub of culture and the arts for the West Central Illinois region and beyond. There are so many more initiatives to mention, but only so much time. There is also more we can do. Let's keep building and continuing this momentum. Western Illinois University has a bright future. We have been called on by our Board of Trustees, by our state leaders and communities, and by our students, the ones we have brought to WIU and the ones we have yet to recruit to evolve. Western Illinois University's next 125 years will look different than our first 125. One thing will remain the same. We will, as always, provide excellent, accessible higher education to our region, our state, and beyond. The path to the future, one that navigates us successfully through a challenging budget situation, is one that we will walk together. The way out is through, together. I recently attended the 2024 Distinguished University Professor Lecture performance by Dr. Richard Kangro from the School of Music, right here in this room. Human collaboration was a focus of his presentation, and he engaged the audience with an exercise that illustrated how quickly individuals within the audience could get in sync with each other. He directed us to start clapping. Of course, the clapping started at random and sounded much like audience applause. But according to Dr. Kangro's stopwatch, the collective group organized into a synchronized rhythm, rhythmic clapping in just six seconds. I was inspired by the exercise and the illustration of the human desire and ability to join with others to create something unifying and special. That same opportunity to join in collaboration presents itself now. As I look across the participants at this event, whether on screen or in the auditorium, I'm reminded why I said yes to the Board of Trustees' call to serve. I said yes because I know we have a shared desire to serve students and each other. I did not accept this role because I had grand plans for a university presidency. I did not accept this role as a stepping stone to somewhere else. I accepted this role because in this moment in time, I hope to work with this community to bring stability and a focused desire to bring people of this university together to make a positive difference for students. 
and to work together to ensure Western Illinois University thrives into the next century and beyond. We are the right community at the right time to move this institution forward. Though on a personal note, I know how much this role and Western success would mean to my grandparents, Marjorie and David Vaughn. I am just 10 days into this position, but I have the benefit of 27 years of listening, learning, observing, and doing. I have observed inspiring leaders and learned from a few others. I hope I have the benefit of some earned trust with people across all levels of the organization, across functional areas, and across classifications. I intend to maintain and build trust through a leadership style that is collaborative, kind, and open and will make it my practice to connect and collaborate with our stakeholder groups, campus leaders, and others to understand perspectives and hear ideas. We will be successful, and sometimes we may experience some setbacks, but together we will learn and persevere. This institution will thrive on internal partnerships between individuals, among departments, across campuses, and within our region that propel, propel this institution to its next evolution. Western Illinois University's mission is to empower students, faculty, and staff to lead dynamic and diverse communities. WIU provides excellent student-centered academic programs characterized by innovative teaching, research, and service grounded in interdisciplinary, regional, and global perspectives. As we look to the future, Fiscal sustainability and scalability and stability are the foundation of initiatives we know will impact students, our region, our state, and beyond. We will focus on excellence and innovation in academic program and student development that align with industry demand, state priorities, and student interests. And we will work with our state leaders, our community partners, to build capacity and resources for key growth areas new markets, and new program delivery. It is a privilege to serve as your interim president of this incredible, student-centered, mission-focused university. I look forward to continued work and collaboration with all of you, students, faculty, staff, the Macomb and Quad Cities communities, and with state leadership to shape the next evolution of Western Illinois University. Thank you for your time today, Thank you for listening. Thank you for your dedication to Western Illinois University. Go Leathernecks. <laughs>